distant land of Norway, there lived a handsome young boy named Peer Gint. Peer was very lazy. He did nothing but dream. Dream of the day when he would marry a pretty little girl named Solvig. lived near the ocean and like many other Norwegian boys had his own boat which one day he would sail all by himself. Pierre's friends worked hard mending sails and learning all the jobs a sailor had to know but Pierre always said tomorrow will be time enough. Solvig told Pierre he should get busy but Pierre would only laugh and he never did get around to learning all the things a sailor must know. when he had to sail his own boat came much sooner than Pierre expected. There was to be a race. All the boys Pierre's age would sail their own boats. Pierre worked a little harder, but he spent much more time telling Solvig what he was going to do after he won the race. Solvig warned Pierre to stop putting off his work, but Pierre paid no attention. The sky was dark and the wind was strong on the day of the race. In the distance, Pierre could see huge storm clouds. Suddenly, he wished he had learned more about sailing and had worked on his boat. What would happen to him if he were caught all alone in his boat at sea in a big storm? Pierre would not even have gone into the race, but he had told Solvig how he was going to win. Now he was ashamed to quit. The day had grown very dark. The little boats were already far from shore. Pierre worked very hard. The wind was strong and his little boat skimmed over the rough sea. It seemed that he would win the race in no time at all. Young men who sailed the other boats watched their course. They watched the sky and they watched the shore for a storm warning. They did not sail as fast as Pierre because they knew the time to run before the wind had not yet come. Suddenly the howling wind crashed into the sails. The little boats were caught in the storm. The other boats were on their way back to shore, but Pierre could not turn about. He couldn't haul down the sail. Water smashed into the boat. The mast creaked. The seams of the boat began to open. It was too late now to fix them. Pierre didn't know what to do. The waves around him seemed as tall as mountains. The water crashed down on the little boat. Pierre hung to the boat for dear life. The mast bent like a whip, and then it snapped, crashing down on the tiny boat. The sail piled down around the boat. The mast and rigging fell over Pierre's head. And in the howling storm, that was the last thing Pierre remembered. The storm passed as quickly as it came. Completely wrapped in its canvas sail, Pierre's boat washed on shore. When Solvig and the townspeople rushed to Pierre's tiny ship, they found him inside. He was wet and cold, and he couldn't remember what had happened. But he said to Solvig, I have been very lucky, and from now on, Solvig, I'm going to be a good sailor and do my work when it has to be done.